Um, reason for the surgery is that they have another child or something else? Yes. Okay. We're one together, I should say. Yes. Are you guys originally from Florida? Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I like to throw in Houston sometimes. <laughs> okay. And my understanding is we're going to do a screening laparoscopy today. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Um, well, what will happen is, oh, in case I forget, your ultrasound looked totally normal. Good. So your uterus and ovaries look great. Um, can't see the tubes with ultrasound, but everything else looks fine. Good. Um, we'll get started a little later on today. Uh, we'll go downstairs. After you get an IV, you go back to the procedure room. Um, you go to sleep, and in your situation, we'll start off with the screening laparoscopy. Okay. Essentially, we'll make a small incision in your belly button, and we'll place a camera through your belly button, no bigger than this, and we'll make a, another small incision right above the pubic hair, where we can put a little grasper instrument in, and then we can examine your tubes. Okay. Um, if the tubes are repairable, we'll go ahead and proceed. Um, which would mean we would stop the laparoscopy portion and then make a, a, a slightly larger incision just above the pubic hair area, about like this. Okay. We'll go down and find your tubes, open the closed ends, put them back together, do that for both sides. The surgery takes anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes. Okay. Probably because we're doing laparoscopy, yours would be a little closer to 90 minutes because it's a few extra steps. Okay. But most people do great. You go to recovery room, Max, you join her at that time, and then uh, come down and tell you how everything went.